So the first feature in this video, let's look at how to change the display size. Now display size in the sense the entire user interface size will be changed and it just looks quite a bit better like a super high resolution mobile phone or rather super high resolution display as if you are using that. As you can see the entire user interface is changed to different resolution altogether with that simple setting as you can see a lot of things gets covered in just one page rather than having to scroll down or keep scrolling down all the time because of the font size now of course if you are not proper in reading this little tiny small size you can always change the font size as well i'll just show you how to do that so to change the entire display size just go to the settings and here you will find additional settings and there is accessibility here just tap on the accessibility now here you should see the display size now i have changed it to small you can just tap on plus and change it to default or large or extra large so as you can see how big the display gets so if you have a problem viewing the mobile phone because of the font size is very small you can always make it large and enjoy this feature so this is how you change it by default it was like this and i changed it to very small just looks way better and very neat as well if you want to change just the font size and not the entire user interface what you can do is again go to the display here inside the settings all you have to do is just go to display and here you will find text size system font you can now it is yes you can make it medium just a bit bigger now this way you can read it easily there is a lot of screen real estate here to use even while browsing internet what it does is it gives you a lot of stuff in just one little page so this is how you utilize the display size this was the first feature start using it hit that like button if you like this feature the second thing is to using a second space so as you will see right now changing it to second space gives you a private space where you can store all the things that are private to you or rather you can give the second space to public or rather your friends or your relatives so that they use the mobile with only few applications installed so that way you can give it to your kids uh, let them use the space and your entire stuff will be private and safe as well so they don't mess up with your private space so in order to do that what you have to do is just go to the settings again there is second space here there is second space just tap on that turn on second space as you can see two spaces one device just tap on continue a switch between spaces so how you want to switch between two created spaces using a password or using just a shortcut icon on the home screen what you can do is create a password separately just for now for demonstration purposes i will use a shortcut just tap on continue second space password not really you can give password every time i'll just say skip now here's the entire separate space you can customize it you can install applications which won't be shown in the other space so if you want to switch to other space just use this now it is asking for the fingerprint scanner so let me just tap on the fingerprint boom now it is switching to again another space so everything is retained back just as it was originally so you don't have to keep changing the applications or other things often and often just tap on the switch to go back to that space as you can see and if you want to if someone wants to switch back to original space all they have to do is either enter password or use their fingerprint scanner so that way it's very safe and secure as well this is how you create a second space on redmi note 7 the next setting is enabling one-handed mode one-handed mode in the sense now since this is a large device as you can see uh, holding this mobile even though i have large hands it's uh, uh, quite cumbersome to actually reach to all the spaces here easily in just using with the one hand so what you can do is create a one hand mode which is again inside the settings so let's move on to setting and inside the settings go to the additional settings and here you will find one handed mode just tap on it and how you like to set up 3.5 inches 4 inches 4.5 inches unfortunately you cannot actually customize the size other than this ready made so four and a half let's say four and a half inches or rather four inches so i enable this one handed mode now what you have to do is just swipe left or right and boom there you go now easily with one hand i can access the entire screen so depending on your hands size you can set it to 3.5 inches uh, 4.5 inches or 4 inches just like this so this is how you use the one handed mode it's very convenient feature now if you just want to go back to original space just tap on this dark empty space and the uh, original screen is retained so this is very nice feature 
The next one is button and gestures. Launching camera very quickly, uh, basically creating a shortcut for the camera. So in order to do that, just go to the settings. Inside the settings, additional settings, and here you will find button and gesture shortcuts. There are so many things that you can really customize according to your liking. Uh, for example, if you want to launch camera quickly by double pressing the power button, you can just set that, tap on it, set it to your own preference, your own liking. Once you do that, see, just I lock the mobile phone. If I just double tap the, double press the power button, boom, instantly camera gets opened. So this way you can set the shortcuts to all the different things. Take a screenshot, slide three fingers down. If I just slide three fingers down, boom, there you go. Screenshot is taken successfully. That way launch Google Assistant, long press the home button. If I just tap and hold the home button, now Google Assistant is launched. As you can see, it's listening to me. Open split screen, long press the back button, split screen gets activated, there you go. So this is how you set different kinds of things or rather different shortcut screen uh, just to access different things very quickly. So this is how you set the buttons and gestures. Basically, if you just go through, there are a lot of things that you can do. Uh, so if you want to quickly access menu of any of the application, you can set that to show menu or show recent apps tray. So that's how you trigger the function. Automatically disable navigation buttons while using apps in full screen, you can disable these navigation buttons automatically so that you utilize full screen. So that way you can customize any of this. For example, turn off screen, long press the home button to turn off the screen. You can lock the screen, close current application. You can set the shortcut there as well. So guys, this was it in this video because again, it gets lengthy. Make sure to watch full video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'll be covering more settings, more features inside the Redmi Note 7. And as the updates pop up, I'll be covering those as well. Also, there will be a detailed in-depth review of the camera. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video, share with your friends. See you all in another one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.